All right, so now that we have learned how to graph a hyperbola, let's talk about how to write the equation of a hyperbola. So we have foci that are at 0, plus or minus 25, and a vertex that's at 0, 24. So if we were to have our picture here, the foci are at 0, up 25, so 0, 25, and then 0, negative 25. And then we have a vertex at 0, 24. So that would mean the other vertex would be at 0, negative 24. So what does that tell us? That tells us that C is 25 and that A is 24. It also tells us that our hyperbola is opening up or down. So that's going to make Y be first and X be second. That tells us our center is at 0, 0. So it's going to be just an X squared, Y squared instead of um, parentheses. The center is at 0, 0. A is always first. So 24 squared is going to go underneath our Y. So 24 squared is going to give us 576. Now I need to find B squared. So B squared is equal to c squared minus a squared so 25 squared minus 24 squared gives us b squared of 49 which makes b 7. now it does want us to write the equation so i wrote the equation but it did ask us to also graph so i need to continue graphing here so when we graph this um, we need to know the um, slope. So the slope here is always y over x. So the y in this case would be 24 over 7. So it'll be up 24 over 7, up 24 over 7, down 24 over 7, down 24 over 7. So these ordered pairs here would be 24 comma 7, 24, negative 24 comma 7 negative 24 negative 7 and then negative 20 or no positive 24 negative 7. so here we go now we have our hyperbola so b it's not going to be centered at 0 0 it's centered at 4 negative 2. so 4 negative 2 then we're at 9, negative 2 for a focus. So that tells us that C is 5. And we're at 6, negative 2 for the vertex, which tells us that A is 2. Now this is going to be opening left and right here. So that's going to be an x squared first. So we're going to have x minus 4 squared minus y plus 2 squared. Now we know a is 2, so underneath x is going to be 4. And then we need to figure out b squared. So b squared equals 25 minus 4. So b squared is 21. All right, number three wants us to find the equation of the hyperbola. So we're going to have to figure out the center here. So it kind of looks like the center is here, but let's double check that that's in the center. So this is up one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so there's our center at one, two, three, negative one. Now, because it's opening up and down, the y is going to be first. Uh, 3, so minus 3, and then negative 1, so plus 1. Now we know this distance here is 3, so we know A equals 3. So A always goes underneath the first one, so 9. Now to find B, we don't know anything about the focus, so I can't use our equation like we did in the last problem to figure out B. So we do know, though, that A is 3, and our slope is always Y over X, so we know our slope is going to be 3 over something. So let's just kind of play around with some numbers. So if I went up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, 1, 2, 3, over 1, that's not going to work. That cuts into the hyperbola. So 1 for B is out of the question. 
Now let's try two. So if I went up one, two, three, right two, one, two, three, right two. That seems to work okay. Now we can't know for sure, but we know at least in the picture that we're seeing, it doesn't ever cross our hyperbola. So we're gonna say B is two, which would make this four. All right, last but not least, we have our um, word problem. So we have suppose that two people are standing one mile apart and they see a flash of lightning. After, one, after a period of time, the person standing at point A hears the thunder. One second later, the person at point B hears the thunder. If person A is due west of person B uh, and the lightning strike is known to occur due north of person A, where did the lightning strike occur? So let's draw a visual here. So we have person A and person B. And it told us B is due west of person A. So B is west of A. Now we know that they're standing one mile apart. Now if we look here, sound travels at feet. So let's talk about feet instead of mile. So if we know their whole distance here is 5,280 5, feet, that makes each of these half of that, which would be 2,640 in each direction. So we could say person A is at ordered pair, comma zero, and then person B is at negative 2,640, comma zero. So we have their ordered pairs. Um, and then we also know that um, the lightning strike is due north of person A. So there's our lightning strike right there. And I wanna know um, where did that lightning strike occur? So we could have a parabola here where A and B are the foci. Now we know that sound occurs um, at 1,100 feet per second. So in this equation right now, we know that C is this number, because that's our foci. Now we know that it took one second from person A to person B to hear that, and it travels at this many feet per second. So that tells us that the distance between them is 550. So A is 550. So now that we know A, we could find B. So b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared. So that gives us b squared Whew. All right, so we know b squared, we know a, we know c. Our whole goal, once again, is to figure out how far away this is, right? So if we wrote that as an ordered pair, the x would be the same. So essentially what we're trying to figure out is when x is this, what is the y? So we're gonna have to write our equation. So since this is opening left and right, the x is first. So we have x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared. equals one. And like I said, the whole goal was to figure out what's y when x is this. So then we're going to use our algebra skills to solve. So we're going to have to subtract this to the other side. So two, six, four, zero squared divided by 550 squared We're gonna have to subtract that to the other side. So we have negative y squared over this guy equals negative 551 five, over 25. So then we could multiply by the denominator. Negative, so we can get rid of the negative there.
and then y squared equals that number. Square root each side. We end up with one, two, one, two, two feet 